parents are going to be awfully happy to hear that safer strollers are going to be on the market starting in 2015. The Consumer Product Safety Commission has had so many complaints and there have been so many accidents. I, they say up to roughly 16,000 emergency room visits are because of accidents involving strollers. The kids might do anything from get their fingers pinched in the hinges, um, they also can get their hands, you know, their fingers cut and even amputated uh, by some of these collapsible strollers. Uh, sometimes the brakes fail, uh, the wheels seize up, and there have even been reports of strangulation hazards. The manufacturers are going to have to do a lot of new tests to make sure that the, the strollers that they sell us are much, much safer than they have been in the past. In the meantime, if you still are going to be using strollers before the new safer ones come out, be sure that you buckle up the kids when they're in their strollers. Try to keep their hands away from the hinges and the moving parts when you're collapsing them. Don't forget to latch the brakes firmly when you are, uh, even when you're on a flat surface, when you're putting the child into the uh, stroller. And if the child's going into the recline position, make sure that they are, uh, that their legs are not so close to the holes, uh, that you keep them away from the holes in the stroller where their legs go through so they don't slip out. Uh, little babies have done that. And finally, don't overload your stroller with groceries or the diaper bag because that can increase the chances of it tipping over. I'm Chris Bjorklund, the savvy consumer for Diamond Certified.